How to Connect Microsoft Wireless Keyboard If you're struggling to connect your Microsoft Wireless Keyboard, you're not alone. Let's break it down step by step so you can get typing in no time. First, make sure your keyboard has the necessary power. Most Microsoft Wireless Keyboards use AA or AAA batteries. If your keyboard didn't come with pre-installed batteries, you'll need to insert them. Locate the battery compartment on the underside of the keyboard, open it using the designated latch or button, and insert the batteries according to the polarity markings. Next, you need to set up the USB receiver. This is the small device that connects your keyboard to your computer. Plug the USB receiver into an available USB port on your computer. If you plan to use the keyboard with different devices, label the receiver and keyboard to avoid confusion. Now it's time to pair your keyboard with the receiver. Look for a small button or switch on the underside of the keyboard labeled Connect or Pair. Press and hold this button for a few seconds until the indicator lights on the keyboard start flashing. This means the keyboard is searching for the receiver. Within a few seconds, press the corresponding pairing button on the USB receiver. Once connected, the indicator lights on both the keyboard and the receiver will stabilize. For Bluetooth keyboards, the process is slightly different. Start by turning on your keyboard. You might need to slide a switch on the bottom or press a pair button until the LED light starts flashing. This indicates that the keyboard is in pairing mode. On your computer, go to the Bluetooth settings. For Windows 11 or 10, select Start, then go to Settings, Devices, Bluetooth and Other Devices, Add Bluetooth or Other Device, Bluetooth. Select your Microsoft Bluetooth keyboard from the list of available devices. If a notification appears for your keyboard, select Connect and wait for it to get set up. If you don't see the notification, follow the steps in the Bluetooth settings menu to add the device manually. In some cases, you might need to enter a pairing code to establish a secure connection. Check the documentation that came with your keyboard for the specific pairing code if prompted. Once you've completed these steps, your Microsoft Wireless Keyboard should be successfully connected and ready to use. If you're using a Windows PC, you can also customize your keyboard experience by downloading the Microsoft Mouse and Keyboard Center to set up hotkeys and other preferences. Remember, some keyboards may pair automatically when you connect the USB receiver or turn on Bluetooth so keep an eye out for any notifications or prompts from your computer. With these steps, you'll be typing away in no time.